Hello guys, I'm Demisterio and this is a defending masterclass video of FIFA Mobile where I'm going to discuss about the basic techniques of defending, how we can stop cross spamming and then later we're going to analyze some of the goals that I considered and the mistakes that I made in those goals. So let's start and don't forget to leave a like. We are expecting 3k likes for this video. So go for it guys. Yeah, let's start. We tried to put the initial pressure on Aspi Guleta but Mason Mount got the ball somehow and Conte now has the ball. Van Dijk did a sliding tackle which is a mistake because look at the passing options of Conte before the sliding tackle. Conte only had the option to back pass to Kovacic because Van Dijk was marking Lukaku initially. After the sliding tackle, the defense and the passing options were exposed. We predicted the situation early and we had to bring out Puel to tackle Conte. We could have avoided the situation if we waited for Conte to make the first move but we made the first move by doing a sliding tackle. If we waited Conte probably would have passed it to Kovacic or probably had tried to dribble and that would have given an option to tackle Conte and get the ball back. Scene 2 we will try to put pressure on the defenders by doing second defense so that they don't get much time to think whom to pass. The moment they will give a pass to a centre midfielder we are going to switch out of second defense like this and we are going to intercept the ball and this will help us to score a goal here. Third scenario here we try to put the initial pressure on Conte with Pedri Lukaku here has passed the ball to Chilwell. Now this is a very important part look at the positioning of Angel Di Maria. A passing triangle was formed. What I did with Di Maria is that I brought him in front of Pulisic so that I can cut out one passing option. I wanted him to pass to Lukaku so that Van Dijk can have a chance at him. Although we didn't have the ball, we took control of their passing by doing just one move. And here, two man Di Maria and Van Dijk marked Lukaku and the ball is now ours. Scene 5 here, Chilwell has the ball. We tried to put pressure on Giorgino with Pedri once again. Conte this time has passed it to Lukaku. This is a mistake from Paul once again but next time we corrected our mistake we held back and Van Dijk took his time to make the tackle. We made Lukaku think whom to pass and we got that extra little bit of time to make the tackle. The basic thing while defending is that don't press the sprint button too much and don't press the sliding tackle button. Just hold back, keep your defenders in front of the attacker and you're going to have a better option to tackle him. Sliding tackle is always your last option. We did a mistake here by doing sliding tackle early but the last sliding tackle was actually good because that was the last chance. We had to do the sliding tackle or else uh, we would have considered a goal from there. Here also we did the same thing, we cut out his passing options and this ended up as a miss pass. The basic thing while defending corners is that we have to keep our defenders in front of their guy who is going to head the ball. Like here PK is in front of Ta and PK got the better chance, got the better touch of the ball and we have successfully cleared the ball. It is really difficult to control the corners because we actually don't know which player is going to head the ball and we have control of only one player. But if you manage to keep a defender in front of every player in the box, there is a 99% chance that you are not going to consider a goal from that corner. So what to do against cross spammers? What he did here is that he dragged my left back in with Sancho that created the space for Trent Alexander-Arnold and Goretzka was there running with momentum and he had to head the ball in. Second goal I considered was once again another cross spam here. Sancho gave a through ball to Depol. I went to mark Depol with PK, which is a mistake that exposed the defense that the gaps became wider and Depol finished the ball. He had the space to finish the ball. So how to avoid these two cross spams I'm going to tell you next. So what I did here is that I tried to mark Sancho with Cancelo. That didn't work. First of all, I have to stop the through ball that he give in here. So what I could have done is that Instead of marking Sancho with Cancelo, we could have done is that we could have taken control of Renal Lodi and uh, positioned him in the middle of Depol and Sancho to intercept the through ball. Once we have successfully intercepted the through ball, then we would have actually done a counter attack because if Depol didn't receive the ball, he would never have crossed the ball. The second thing we could have done is that we could have allowed the cross because here we went to mark uh, Depol with PK that exposed the defense and that increased the gaps. So eventually he managed to cross the ball so that was meaningless. What we could have done is that we could have dragged PK uh, in the center so that the gaps are closed and uh, it will be difficult for David to head the ball in that case. 
now we are going to analyze some of the goals that I considered in head to head and the mistakes I made if any. Here we did the sliding tackle mistake that exposed the defense and eventually Thiago scored the goal. So if you if you see it in slow motion you will see. In this situation he only had the option to shoot or to cross the ball. But just because PK slide tackled the option of Thiago Silva opened up. So this was a mistake. This was a mistake. Second scenario here we couldn't stop the cross and Benzema almost scored the goal. Now we was in a dangerous position which we don't want to be in. Now there are some situations which we can't control in FIFA Mobile and this was one of the situations. Look at the positioning of Benzema before the cross came. He was in the middle of Gerard Piquet and Renal Lodi. Now look at his run. He just moved diagonal past Gerard Piquet to take the shot. Poole couldn't mark him because he was marking a midfielder, so was Pedri. This was completely AI. The run was completely AI that managed, uh, that helped Benzema to take the shot. We couldn't do anything about these kind of situations. Here, although I stick to the basics, I still consider a goal. Here I tried to mark Holland, I didn't give him much option with Poole but he managed to pass it to Son and Son scored a brilliant goal because we know in FIFA World 22 scoring this kind of goals uh, is really really difficult. What I did here is that I probably waited too much. I should have gone for a standing tackle instead of a sliding tackle. But I waited too much that gave Son time and uh, you know we can't agree, you know we can't disagree the fact that that was a quality quality finish. Executing that kind of a finish was really good. But we gave Holland too much time and we didn't tackle when we had to. So we had to tackle, uh, you know, but we waited too much. That gave Son the time to make space. So that was a mistake. There are still few moments that where we need to appreciate our opponent because in this he attacked with so many people. You know, four, my four defenders are marking his four attackers. But still, you know, Ansu Fati was unmarked and that gave him space i couldn't do anything i didn't ha know how to stop this goal i i still don't know how to stop this goal you know we have to appreciate my opponent for this goal if i show it in slow motion you will understand why i'm saying this because look 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 so i mean look most of the players are marking uh, you know each other but still ansu Fati was unmarked almost everybody was marking everyone but still ansu Fati was unmarked and you know we considered this, this goal we couldn't do anything about this one that was you know something that i i don't understand how it happened but yeah that was a moment of brilliance for my opponent so that was all for this video guys if you want to check out our previous tutorial video then click on this video given in the left and if you want to subscribe our youtube channel for more updates then click on the icon thank you guys bye bye <laughs>